Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. This is what we will be creating today. We will be leveraging some rich image and rich texts to get some imagery and also some text in different colors in our widget. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how rich text works in Unreal Engine to create some more uh, interesting texts for us to have as widgets. So let's get started. So here we have a folder of rich text and we're just going to be creating a user interface for us to have something in. So we're creating a user interface. We're calling this W underscore main HUD. And in our third person character, we're going to be creating a widget of the type main HUD. And we're going to be adding this to viewport. Now inside our main HUD, we currently do not have anything, but inside of it, we're now going to be adding some rich text. So we'll search for rich, te rich text and we'll get it here. Placing it here, we can see that we now have a rich text and we can now type in some sort of text here. So let's say we welcome to leaf branch games. And as you see here, this is just gibberish and this is because um, rich texts need to make use of styles to display text for. So to do that, we need to set up a data asset. So we go back to our folder, we right click, we go to miscellaneous and we go to data table. From here, we need to choose a structure. In this case, we're going to be choosing a rich text style row. Then we click OK and we open this up. We can name it DT uh, rich text style or something. How this works is uh, each of these rows that we add, if we click on the add button here, will represent all the different settings that you can have for a piece of text essentially. Uh, the naming convention here is uh, a little bit important. If we were to just save now, actually let's make a default here. So we have a font family of uh, Roboto. We can do it like that, save, and we go back to our main HUD. We can now choose a text style over here and we can choose the data table that we have created. Uh, compiling and saving won't do anything because we need to have a text style that is called default. So clicking on it over here, pressing F2, we can name it default, save, go back to our HUD, compile and you can now see that I am very bad at spelling. Uh, well, um, there we go. Okay, so now we have a default style set up here. So this is what is going to be uh, displayed when we have nothing else uh, there. So let's choose white because that's normally a very good color for uh, default things. In addition to that, let's add some more uh, styles here. So we can add one that we call uh, danger. We choose the font Roboto, we choose the color. Let's say we want to have it red, Maybe something like that. Uh, let's create another one. Let's say we call it warning. Let's say we choose Roboto for that one. And let's say we choose yellow as color. And then let's say something like uh, safe. And then we'll choose Roboto and we'll choose green. We save, we go back to our rich, uh, our main hub where we have our rich text. Uh, we compile to make sure that we get our white text here. What we can do now is we can add some uh, styles to our text using the styles we have defined in our data table. How this works is fairly simple and straightforward. If we were to just go to our text here and type in something more, let's say, uh, beware the wolves, uh, the forest is dangerous. Uh, by a string, something like that. Okay, makes perfect sense, of course. Anyway, to make our styling work for these, we need to create tags. So we create a tag by having a 
uh, what's it called, a less than sign. And then we need to have the name of the style that we want to create. So we had one that was called danger, I believe. And then we need to have an end tag somewhere. So we go after the wolves here. We'll have a less than, a slash, and a end tag. If we compile now, we can see that this has now been highlighted with that style. So remember, we had a danger style that was red. And equally, now we can add some, some other text here, like the, the forest, maybe. It's supposed to be warning. And then we end that. And then maybe by string is uh, positive. So this is safe. And then we have the end of that. And then we just compile and save. And you can see that we now have different colorations for this. Um, so that's the part of rich text and how that works. It's it's not that complicated. You have all the different settings for your font to configure it as you want it to look. But in addition to that, we also have another piece that we can make use of. And that is if we right click and go to miscellaneous and create a data table, we can also create something called a rich image row. Let's create one of those and call it DT rich image row, like so. Then we open up our main HUD again. Now, if we want to enhance our rich text even further without, or in addition to our colors that we have, we can also make use of images inside of it. How to do that is by the use of decorators. How that works is that, first of all, actually let's open up our data table for rich image rows, and we add a row here. Now in here, we can configure what an image should look like. In this case, I have one prepared an image, a texture, I'll put it in here, and you can change some settings for it here as well, as well if you wanted to. Uh, you'll also put in some kind of uh, keyword for it to remember it by. In this case, I will have a rope. So I'll save it. I can go to the main HUD and go into the rich text string here. Uh, to add an image now, we need to do something similar to before. We need to have a less than sign and an image as an IMG. Uh, and then the space and ID equals and then the name, but you have to also have um, quotation marks. So rope in this case for me. And then we also have the slash and then an end or a greater sign essentially. Now you can see here it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, nothing is translated or done or anything like that so far. Compiling it doesn't fix it either. That's because we don't have a decorator yet. A decorator you add over here by adding a decorator class. Clicking a plus sign here, you can see that we don't actually get to choose one because we don't have one currently. If we go to our folder again, right click, go to blueprint class and type in the rich image, we'll get a rich, rich text block image decorator. Let's choose that, call it BP rich image decorator and open that up doesn't have a whole lot inside of it. You can see here out in the right, we have an appearance. This is where we choose the data table that we have created, which currently has the rope in it. We compile and save, go by, back to our main HUD, and we can now choose under decorators here, our new blueprint, which created with rich uh, image decorator. Adding it there, clicking compile, you can see that our text is now replaced with the image. So that's how rich text and rich images works for Unreal Engine. I hope that was useful. That's all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.